Hey guys, my name is David from the Alienware team. We are here in Seattle, Washington for PAX West 2016. I'm joined here by Eddie. Uh, Eddie, talk to us a little bit about what we've got going on at the booth. Sure, so this Friday we just announced our new Alienware 15 and 17, introducing a brand new industrial design. These notebooks are all VR ready. Um, and we have demos set up showing eye tracking in different games from different developers, and everyone's really stoked and excited. Nice. So we are showing off the Alienware 15 and 17. What is the one that's actually dissected right here in front of us? So we actually have the different parts deconstructed uh, from an Alienware 17. Okay. And we did that because we wanted to show people uh, the different benefits and all the work that we put into each of the individual elements behind the notebook. The new notebooks are definitely compatible with the same old graphics amplifier, and that's great because you could always use it to get home and experience the pleasure of having um, as many monitors as your desktop graphics card can support, as well as all the peripherals that are attached to the hub on that graphics amplifier. So while you're home, while you're away, you have a super powerful notebook, and when you get home, you get much more of a desktop-like experience. Okay. Uh, so on the Alienware 15 itself, we're showing Gears of War 4 on that system. Uh, what can you tell us uh, as far as the the new changes from last year? It looks beautiful, first of all, and that's probably because the new notebooks come with the latest generation graphics from both NVIDIA and AMD. The system that's running over there in particular is using an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070. So the graphics look absolutely beautiful. The performance is really, really smooth, um, and everyone's enjoying it, and then people are lining up to try it out. And one of the new features, actually, on the 17, is, and you touched on it earlier, is the Toby eye track. Yeah. So here at the booth, I think we've got the Toby reps actually yeah. giving little demos of how it integrates into their technology. Um, have you tried it? What, what can you tell us about it? Yeah, I, I love it, and uh, it's one of those things that I can tell you all about it, but you really have to try it to understand the actual experience. Imagine approaching your system, um, and it's suddenly recognizing that you're there. Not only suddenly recognizing that you're present, right, the sense of presence detection, but it could also detect what your eyes are looking at. Right. And by doing that, you can, it changes the way that we game entirely. So we are here in the middle of the booth, and one of the things that we've been doing for the past couple shows is wiring the entire place up with cameras, audio gear, and basically hiring a whole production team to help us bring content here from the show online to the fans and live streaming online, as you can see, giving an opportunity for our community uh, to interact with us here at the show, learn more about the products. We invite developers on, teams on, players on, uh, and basically anyone that we have a relationship with to come sit down uh, and hang out with us here at PAX South. All right, so Leonard, for the past couple of events now, you've always lobbied, and more and more so, to have the cameras here, the production crew, the budget to make all this happen. I mean, we basically, for this show, we've, we've built the entire the setup. Right, the focal point. Yeah. So where do you see where do you see it going from here? I mean, there's a lot of 360 experiences, VR experiences. I mean, ultimately, is the name of the game just bringing someone and cloning the experience for them? Yeah, so, yeah, for me, the, the whole vision of what we're doing with Alienware TV and community outreach is really uh, to embrace and show the passion that we here at Alienware have for gaming, right? Like, this is what we do when we're not working. So the fact that we get to do this uh, for a living and pretty much make it our lifestyle, both from work and at, at home, is really the goal. And I know that we have many, many viewers all around the world, and it's hard to get to a, to a trade show, whether you're in North America or whether you're in Europe or in other parts of the world, South America, freaking Asia. It, it's hard. Yeah, you may be... 2,000 miles away from the closest kind of big con, right? So the whole idea with Alienware TV and why we come here and why we put so much so much of an investment in production is that you guys can kind of get that experience, right? We invite game devs to come on, you get to see the games, uh, oftentimes a year plus before they launch, uh, but then also show our partnerships and how we uh, have put our kind of our stamp in the game industry, right? So. Uh, for me, it's whatever kind of feedback we get from community to allow them to get a more immersive experience at the con, that's the direction we'll take. So we are here at the booth. We're in the back right now showing off the latest VR-ready systems here at Alienware. Uh, I'm joined here by Chris. Chris, can you tell me a little bit about what we've got going on? Absolutely. 
We're talking all things VR. And for Alienware, that now means our entire product line in some form, fashion, and capabilities. So we're super happy to announce that the Alienware 13, 15, and 17 will be natively ready to handle VR. What that means is that they have the 10 series NVIDIA graphics that are gonna be fully capable to be able to run VR straight out of the system. So that's super awesome, really exciting. VR mobility on the go, taking it in more places and having a ton of more fun with your friends. Of course, that joins the lineup of our desktops that are fully ready and VR capable. The Alienware Aurora and the Alienware Area 51. Uh, their little brother, the Alienware Alpha, almost VR ready, standing low by itself, but absolutely getting there with the addition of the Alienware graphics amplifier. You can just plug that guy in and voila, you're, you're off and going. Nice, so I mean, even outside of just regular gamers and consumers, for those that are trying to push VR content creation right now, or VR games, 360 content, this type of notebook allows them like to work untethered yeah. now, basically. Yeah, the, the great addition of the notebooks is it's going to allow people to do easier VR demonstrations. It's going to allow people to not worry about lugging a 70, 80 pound system with them everywhere they go. They'll get the power and the performance and something portable and mobile, which will help get eventually VR to the masses that much easier, right? Um, certainly helping in VR creation, but also helping in VR demos.